Adobe Premiere Pro 24.3 is here. Adobe has just released its latest version of the Premiere Pro in the March 2024 and it has added three major features in this version which will make you edit fast and efficient in Premiere Pro. So let's find out what are those features. First major feature of the Adobe Premiere Pro 24.3 is GPU enabled speech to text transcription. Now Adobe has made speech to text powered by GPU. That means now it is going to transcribe very fast using the power of your graphics card. Earlier it was dependent on the CPU which used to take lots of power on your PC but not anymore. With this feature, Adobe is also claiming that now it is 15% more fast and accurate when it comes to transcribing across multiple supported languages. And yes, I can say when it comes to Hindi language, it is little bit more accurate but still lots of improvement is required. Now let's move on to the next major update. And the next major update is the new markers management. While using the markers in Adobe Premiere Pro, there was no filtering option for the markers and it was quite a hassle to find out the desired marker. But now with this release, Adobe has added the filtering option in the markers panel. So if you go to the markers panel, you can just filter out different markers. Now you can select show all markers, show only the clip markers or show only the sequence markers, which will definitely help you out to find out the desired marker and edit fast. Are you using the markers for editing? Or if you don't know what the heck is the marker, let me know in the comment section. Third major release of this version is the label preset. As you know that in the Premiere Pro, we can label different clips or the tracks using the color labels option. And we can even customize these colors by going to the edit preference and the labels and we can choose the desired colors. But unfortunately, there was no option to save these labels as a preset if you are working on multiple devices like PC or laptop. In that case, if you are working on the same project, you will see the different color scheme, which was a bad experience. So now the Adobe has introduced this new feature, which allows you to save these color labels as a preset of your own. You can also use the default presets. You can also import these presets and this option allows you to find out where you have saved this preset so that you can copy to your different device, PC or laptop and then you can import that color label preset and then you can have the seamless experience across all your devices. This is a very small but very useful update. Now let's move on to the fourth update. This is the fourth major update of Premiere Pro. Now if you go to the essential graphics panel and apply the text styles, if you have created some, then you can see the exact preview, how they are going to look on your text even before applying. Earlier there was no preview and you cannot see how it will look until you apply it. But with this update, the life has become little more easy. Enhanced speech. This update was added way back in the 24.2 version. Using this feature, you can enhance your audio to the studio quality right in the Premiere Pro itself. Earlier, it was available only in the beta version or if you don't have the beta version, then you have to go to the Adobe Podcast website and upload your audio file there and then it will use to get processed over there and then you need to download and then import that in the Premiere Pro, which was a definitely a time consuming task. But now it can be done right in the essential sound panel in Adobe Premiere Pro 24.3, which will definitely save you a lot of time and you'll be able to finish your projects in less time. And if you want to learn the 3D Reels editing techniques like Bart VFX who is going viral on Instagram, then check out this video.